Welcome everyone, I'm Noor and today I'm going to show you how a solar water heater's plumbing needs to be done accurately. What materials a plumber needs and how the plumbing is done will be discussed today in this video. Plumbing is nothing but a process of connecting solar water heater to the tank and its bathroom. It is also known as pipeline. There is only one universal way of doing the solar water heater plumbing but the major tiny difference is only the different angles of placing the or fixing the pipes. We have this difference because each one has different space availability, tank placement and solar water heater placement. The method which I am going to explain is the simplest and easiest of all but keep in mind you can extend the pipes of outlet and inlet in any angle and length according to the space present. Let's start with the plumbing process. Please watch the whole video in order to understand the process of plumbing correctly. Before we start, subscribe to our channel for more such videos. So let's get started. The things you require for providing the connection is air vent pipe, ball valve, union valve, NRV valve, T-joint, GI pipe and CPVC pipes. I'll explain the functions of these elements further while explaining the plumbing process. Let's start with the plumbing process. First, we have the overhead tank. Overhead tank needs to be placed at a height of 6 feet from the terrace or surface to maintain the pressure of water flow to the solar water heater. Right next to the tank, air pipe should be fixed. Air pipe helps in releasing the pressure created within the tank. You might already have this. So, below or even next to the air pipe, a pipe should be connected to the solar water heater inlet. Between those connections, three elements should be placed. Firstly, ball wall. Ball wall helps with the regulation of water flow, which means you can control the water flow by turning it off or on whenever required. Ball wall is a better version of gate wall to open and close the flow of water to the solar water heater. Next is union wall. Union wall helps with handling the flowing pressure of water. Next up, NRV wall should be fixed. NRV helps in controlling the flow of water in one direction. Suppose if the hot water wants to flow towards the cold water, then NRV controls the backward flow. So these are the three elements that are supposed to be fixed between overhead tank and the solar water heater tank. The connection will be attached to the solar water inlet. Basically, the tank sends the cold water to the solar water heater through ball valve, union valve and NRV valve. Then, the water gets circulated in the solar water heater and gets heated. Further, we have outlet on the other end of the solar water heater. Outlet helps with sending hot water to the bathroom connected. Here, it is important to give air vent connection right next to the outlet. Air vent helps in releasing the pressure formed inside the solar water heater tank and helps in keeping the tank safe from leakage. The most important aspect of the air vent is solar water heater's air vent should be equal to the air pipe of the overhead tank length and it should be always maintained straight. Next up, the outlet pipe should be connected to the bathroom. Here, the outlet pipe should be of GI material because GI controls the temperature of the hot water if it gets too hot before sending it to the bathroom. Other all connection should be of CPVP pipes except near the outlet because outlet should be of GI pipe. The outlet pipe must again have three elements. First is ball wall. Ball wall in the outlet too because you can control the on and off of the hot water based on your requirement. Next is union valve to control the flow pressure, I mean the flowing pressure of hot water to the bathroom and at last the NRV valve to control the backward flow of hot water to the tank. So this was the plumbing process and elements required with their functions. Inlet and outlet pipes can be measured based on the space that is there. T-joints are also used to give multiple directions to a single connection anywhere in the plumbing that completely depends on the plumber where he wishes to use. We will use it here as per our requirement. Elbow joints are also used to join the pipes and we will be using elbow joints over here. Now, let's discuss how much it's going to cost for plumbing. Ball ball ranges between 300 to 800 rupees, union ball ranges between 400 to 1000 rupees and NRP ranges between 350 to 2000. All these three walls should be purchased in two quantities. For the whole plumbing, it might cost you around 6,000 approximately, even if you buy high quality walls. With this, we have come to the end of the video. Please like and comment if you found the information to be useful.